Okay, YouTube. This is my story. I have a 20 gallon long saltwater fish tank with some corals, a beautiful hammer up top, a frog spawn, and a sick torch. And a goby. And a couple of clowns. And a feather duster. And over here that's going in the tank is an arrow. It's an arrow crab, which I'm agulating right now. And he's going to get rid of some of the bristle worms I have in here. So I was having problems with this guy here. So I went to OSA in Coventry, and these people are great down there. Scott, Scott and his friends down there have really helped me out a lot with this. I wanted a bigger tank. This was supposed to be a quarantine tank. But it ended up my main tank for now because really can't afford the money right now for a big tank and I'm having problems with this coral so they did water parameter tests for me which I did and all my parameters were good except for the calcium it was a little low he said that could be affecting the coral but he seems to think that it could be um, that he's sick so they gave me some of this to dip him in. That should get rid of any infection or any parasites that might be lingering on him that's causing him not to come out. When I first got him, he was out for about a month. He was out good looking really healthy, then all of a sudden he retracted and disappeared. So we're going to try and fix that today. I'm going to do a water change, I'm going to add some calcium to the tank. Um, because the calcium was a little low, but it wasn't that bad. But it was under 400. I'd like to see it around 440. My alkalinity was 9.5. My magnesium was 1350. I mean, everything was just, just good. pH 8.5. So, first thing I gotta do is warm up some salt water. Okay, that's going to have to sit a while until the temp comes up. Now, get the arrow crab, get some more water from my tank.
put a couple of squirts in there so I can get used to this. Get used to the temperature. Get used to my water parameters. Don't want to throw them in and shock them. Don't want a dead arrow crab. Because we got some bristle worms in there. He's going to get rid of them. your new home buddy Now I know they tell you never put your hands in the tank, but I have no choice. I have no choice. First I gotta get the medicine. The coral. Coral is going to stay in that medicated water for at least 10 minutes. And obviously he's not going to be too happy about that. Flat worms. Whoa. Okay guys, I medicated the torch and this is what I found flatworms they're coming out of him of course they're dying yay wow will you look at that I gotta call him who what's his name at OSA Chris Chris at OSA he just saved this coral's life Awesome. Well, now that he's eradicated from all them flatworms, hopefully he recovers. He's back in the tank. I haven't done the water change yet. I'm going to go take a break and, and do a water change in a little while. And the arrow, arrow crabs go into town. Get rid of them bristle worms. Oh yeah. So I have a little help here. Changing water in a fish tank.
guys. This is what saved my uh, my torch today. I guess it's from uh, I don't know. It says two little fishes in the left hand corner, but it's called. Revive Coral Cleaner. This stuff, believe me, is awesome. It worked in seconds, not minutes, hours. Guys, it worked in seconds. And I just put a tiny little squirt, and maybe 16 ounces of water. Put some in the water, stirred it up. Drop the coral in, shook the coral around a little bit, then let it sit there. I went for a towel to wipe my hands. I turned around, came back, and the, 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 my, my torch had flatworms. And they were just crawling out of them, one after another. He had seven of them. It was just amazing. I showed you the picture earlier, and I'll show it again. It's just amazing. Okay, this is just a little update. It's been a week later, and I have dipped him again just to make sure that there's no flatworms. And there was nothing, no flatworms, no nothing. So he's doing a little bit better. At least he's out of his shell now. So, we'll keep on further updates. Hopefully he gets much better than what he looks now.